Hey Pete, it's, and uh, maybe Rachel too, if you get a hold of this, or whoever ends up watching this video. Um, I know you've got uh, Star Wars Destiny already um, plugged into um, Tabletop Simulator, so you've got the program running, but you might want to be figuring out what's the easiest way to work with it and how to do deck building and all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I do with it, and uh, maybe talk about some things along the way too. Um, I know you like to kind of um, discover things for yourself, Pete, um, but I think there might be some tips here that I can give you that would kind of help things move along. Um, the, the game isn't that deep, um, but it's it's a CCG, so there's there's plenty of stuff, and the learning curve can can start bending pretty fast. But this is how uh, I, this is I think the most convenient way to go about playing with the game when it comes to deck building and uh, how to build decks and use them easily in Tabletop Simulator. So, Star Wars Destiny, um, database.com, swdestinydb.com, this is the best place, I think. Um, and you can make an account, you can set it up pretty easily. And then you'll want to go to uh, My Decks, and then over here to a new deck. I've got a bunch of decks already saved here, but you can go to a new deck. You can choose a side, Hero Villain, um, create the deck, start building, and then this this website's just gorgeous. Um, you can see how not all the characters are available. That's because the site is actually even smart if you want it to be um, in terms of uh, you can tell it what collection of cards you have. So like I've got my collection of cards inputted here on this site, and then when I'm deck building, it automatically knows to not show me cards I don't have which is pretty cool. But if you want to do full deck building, uh, you don't have to do that um, by default. So you, you can click over here on options, show only owned cards. I can turn that off and then I've got access uh, to everything, which is probably how you'll do it since you don't have anything, but or you're not worried about a physical play set. Um, but this is great because you can just, at a click of a button, start adding things and it'll keep track of everything over here. You can even kind of watch the charts of how you're building your deck as you go, which is really awesome. Uh, the other thing that's really helpful is because of the deck building restrictions in the game, um, not all the cards are going to be useful to you. So let's say I'm playing a villain, so I can use villain cards and neutral cards. I can't use hero cards. I could add them in here, but it would complain at me, I think, if I did that. Um, also, you can always use the neutral color. But based on what characters you add into your squad, you'll only have access to cards from that color for the rest of your deck. So um, you have to make some decisions about that. But let's say, I don't know, let's say I'm building. Um, you can also keep track of how many points you have here. If you mass over a card, it'll show you everything, all the information about that card. Really handy if you want to click on it and just see it see the whole card and everything you can also do that um, here you can see the point value you got to put together a 30 point squad you can have less than that but generally you want to have as much as possible but as you're adding things it's it's counting for you so we got 14 points there I got 16 left oh I don't know um, here let's just say we go uh, General Veers and two Night Sisters. Okay, so there we go. We're at 30 points. We get four dice, pretty decent health, nice power. Um, and so now I basically I don't have, I have blue and I have red. So now I wouldn't want to look at any more yellow cards. And I can also select it based on the battlefields if I just want to look at battlefields um, or just characters uh, or and then upgrades, support and event cards. So now you can see as I'm looking through what events or upgrades I want to add. None of the yellow ones are showing. That's great. I always love being able to sort by cost and see what things are cheap. Definitely want to put in some holocrons here. All right, a data pad. Definitely hidden in shadow. Um, force choke. Some immobilize. I think commanding presence is good in this deck. Force throw. A couple lightsabers. A couple mind probes. So you can start doing this, and as you're adding cards in, boom, you just get to see it all. So that's really slick. Um, when you're all done, you can save your deck, you can give it a name and everything, and then it'll show up in uh, My Decks, and I'm going to actually delete this one. I don't care about that deck. So here's a deck I made before, and I've been editing it. It's a little later edition. Now let's say I want to um, 
uh, put this into Tabletop Simulator? Well, I can do that very easily. I click on the deck, and then I go to Download, and click Tabletop Simulator, and you'll get a little file. Now, where are you going to put that file? Well, if you go to Documents, and you go to My Games, um, there'll be a folder for Tabletop Simulator. Open that up, and then open up the Saves category, and then Chest. This is this is the this is the folder that has everything that you all these sort of uh, saved objects that you can make in Tabletop Simulator, and then put for easy access into your Chest. Um, you can also just copy and paste files, which is what I did did here. So I downloaded my Wacko deck um, on Tabletop Simulator, and then uh, put it into this file. And then I can open it up on Tabletop Simulator. So if we go in here, um, Star Wars Destiny is a workshop game. So I load that up. And it's loading. And now if I go to, oh, that's not what I want. If I go to Objects and Chest, it'll bring up this little window. And I can click on Saved Objects. And then here's what was in my Chest folder. So let's say I want to play that Wacko deck. I can just um, click on it, and it will spit that saved object out right here. And then I can draw it. Uh, I can pull things. Uh, actually, I should do this. Wait, wacko deck, awkward spot. Whenever you're, um, yeah, let's me put up. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, there's a convention that's in Tabletop Simulator. Uh, some embedded. Um, there's some embedded objects like the these deck bag things that if you click and hold then you'll pick up the whole thing you can do that but if you just click and drag immediately it'll start pulling things out of the the bag in the order that you put them in and uh, this is there we go so I have all my characters and the Jedi Temple my location and then here's my deck and you don't have to put dice in here anymore the game has changed so um, if I take a card here, like like this com link, and I put it into play, it'll automatically spawn a die when that happens. So it's it's really really handy. So you can do things this way. You can you can um, build your deck lists in tabletop, or I'm sorry, in Star Wars Destiny Deck Builder, and then import them into um, Destiny. Now maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you want to do it a different way. Uh, maybe you like looking at all the cards and pretending like you're you've got them all laid out in front of you. Well, there is um, a deck building option here in the Star Wars Destiny plugin for Tabletop Simulator. If you click on this, now you can kind of select um, the restrictions on which cards you want the game to automatically spawn on the board. Let's say I was doing a similar thing. So I want to build a villain deck. So I want to look at neutral cards too. Just won't look at heroes. Uh, let's say I want to look at characters, upgrades, supports, and events, um, and I've got my colors. I know I want to do red and blue. I don't want to mess around with yellow, and I'll do gray. And then I'll click Spawn, and then it'll spawn everything that I have selected. And you can just look through all the cards, and you know you can start putting together a deck. So you're like, I want to do Veers, and a Night Sister, and I want another Night Sister. So I'm going to copy the Night Sister. Copy and paste another Night Sister. You can start doing that, stack them together, be like, I want some lightsabers, I want another lightsaber, put that in the deck, and then a presence, I only want one of those. Um, let's get a rifle, I want this blaster pistol, a promotion, so on and so forth. And so you can kind of do it that way. And the scans are pretty decent. You can you can definitely read the cards here. Um, I just I think this is a little more cumbersome way of doing it uh, than um, with the Star Wars deck builder. This thing is just so slick, and I find it easy to do what I'm what I look for looking what I for what I want and, and putting something together really fast. Um, once we're all ready to play, um, then we can we can each import this. If you come in um, to the game. Uh, you have to be made a host in order to bring things from your chest uh, into the game. But that's easy to do. You can get privileges from whichever person hosts it. You or me uh, can do that. And then we would start a two-player game, and you can select how many characters. So maybe you're running a three-character deck, and I'm running a two-character deck. And then we'll just use the classic tokens, and then we'll spawn it. And then the game is all set up. And then all we'd have to do 
is, you know, bring in our decks. I want to play my Wacko deck. Maybe you want to play my Qui-Gon deck. And then, here we go, Wacko deck, and another one. And we can start pulling things out. So there, that's the deck. Oops, put it over there. There's a Balatik. And see, his dice automatically comes out. There's a Night Sister. And there's a Grievous. And they all they all spawn automatically. Very very convenient. And here's my location. And then we would uh, get rid of that. And you know, then you could you get over here on your side. And you'd start pulling your stuff out. There's a Finn. There's a Qui Gon. And there's a deck. And then this one still has the dice in it. Those are unnecessary because of how the game is now programmed. So there we'd go. And then we could start playing. And then all the tokens are in these bags. So pretty cool. Uh, I know you were kind of interested in the draft option, which is also cool. The workshop, you can download the Star Wars Destiny Blind uh, draft. And then it gives you basically um, starter sets and destiny boxes. So um, this one has 50 booster packs in it. So, but if we were like, that's not good enough, we want some more, then there we could just start spawning more of them all over the place. And let's say we both want to use the same starter. You can actually have dark side against dark side or light side against light side. There's no restrictions on that. Just because of my limited components, I don't do it that way when, for the physical decks. But there you go. And then you've got these funny looking bags, actually, than the other ones. Um... And then we could we could do a booster draft and and if you pull uh, something out of here it'll be a booster pack and then from the booster pack you can pull out uh, the five cards and the dice that will come with it um, and it'll load get rid of the garbage but you can see whatever cards so this was we got Django in this pack and let's see what was the uncommon local garrison not a great card second chance is awesome though. Oof. Um, so, so yeah, we could do things that way, and it would do uh, random packs for us, and that would be a lot of fun as well. I would probably make the deck uh, in here with the booster boxes, save it into the chest, and then pull it up in the other app to play it. Uh, I think that would probably be uh, better um, than this format. But either way, um, maybe we could get started. You could get started building some decks and stuff, and having fun with that. Uh, if you want to. Um, I look forward to getting the chance to play with you more, Pete. I know it, I, I don't know, I couldn't couldn't really get a sense for um, how much fun you're having when we played, but or what you think of the game and whether you think it's uh, worth your time to dig into and, and try to figure out for yourself. But um, I would love to play more with you this way online if you want to, and I hope this video uh, is helpful and gives you everything you need to know. Okay, love you, bro. Hope to play with you soon. Bye.